Yo guys and welcome back to more of Ark Survival Evolved on the Island map. We are continuing on with our journey, our mission if you will, to get first of all the zoologist achievement to tame one of every uh, every tameable creature in the Ark. And two, the whole Noah's Ark challenge which I'd promised for a very long time that I would complete. So far, as I've been streaming quite a bit of Ark recently, been taming a lot more creatures, even the... Uh, Diplo, mate, get out, get out of the way. Jesus. Um, I've been taming a lot of more creatures, including the useless ones and the ones I don't really want, such as another Pheomia, some Megaloceros. Also got a bunch of archers, a bunch of um, Macaraptors. I, I I would love to use these more, man. They, they look so amazing. Look at them. Like, they actually just look so adorable. If it weren't for the fact that I already had so many damn animals and entities in my base already, I would just have a bunch of these just to sit there and look pretty. But alas, lag. <laughs> got some more mezzos. I've got a bunch of other things as well, such as... I see Arthropros and Araneos. Uh, we have nothing different than there. We have a Fioma that's in my damn way. Screw you, mate. What else do we have? Uh, got a couple of Compies. Got a couple of um, uh, Beavers. Yeah, so like I said, cracking on, trying to tame a bunch more things. And today we're going to be tra taming. Tra taming? Yes, we're going to taming. Try taming some uh, Trudons. I have been trying these a couple of times on stream. Every time it's just been a massive embarrassing failure, so I figured, alright then, alright. It's clearly going to take a while. As it's going to take a while, I'll do it in video instead of on stream. That way the stream doesn't have to suffer me figuring it out and, you know, trial and error, constantly waiting around, mucking it up, etc, etc. So, um, <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's a bit smoother this time around. So, first of all, we have a fully grown Rex. One of the Rexes that I failed to feed to a damn Trudon. It was originally a baby. I've done a bit of research. Uh, it is still possible to do it with babies. I read it. I uh, was since told it wasn't. So, um, thanks to whoever that was. <laughs> so, I've got a 309 Rex. I've been knocking it out uh, using a pheromone dart. And then, hopefully, the Trudon will choose to attack it. This is 174 Trudon. What actually are its stats anyway? You are awful. Your melee damage, the one role I care about, is terrible. Mate, what are you doing? Well, anyway, it is time to wait for the night time, knock out the Rex, and hopefully, hopefully get a tame. Uh, which reminds me, actually, uh, while looking around, there's so many tech parasols with spawns. It's insane. I've already got three of them. That's another thing I've been taming, tech parasols. <laughs> you know, worthwhile. And my god, they just have, like, the most amazing... Vibrant colours. But anyway, yes, night time. Let's go. We have returned to the night and I can barely see a thing. It is not a problem though, I'm going to be tranking out this wonderful Rex here. Now first of all, mate, I want you to be a neutral. They have to be a neutral, but apparently they can be knocked out. So let's go ahead then and do this. The uh, True Dawn is our grand apparent. Did I really just miss? How did I miss that? Okay, no, it's just lack of damage numbers. Okay. I've got no idea how many it would take. It's a really high level Rex after all. Let me see, that's three bullets. Uh, okay, it's, it's not too bad. I'm gonna have to use quite a bit for it, but whatever. The Trudon's going ham. Jesus, all I can hear is the Trudon's attacking. Wow, okay. And, I've, and uh, as well, like I said, I'm gonna be using Pheromone Dark for this in case it doesn't work, because I've been having a lot of issues with the Trudon actually attacking the Rex. So I've um, got some Berman darts and therefore I've kind of added a bit of a, you know, a bit of a surrounding to the trap. Just just in case anything tries to come charge in, like maybe like a uh, Tapajara or something, it'll just help, you know, help slow it down a little bit. I've got it still, okay, there you go, Jesus. Right, so now you're down. That's, oh, there's another Trudon out there, no wonder. You can just like see it just hovering outside. Well, I'm going to wait for that in a bit, that's, that's not important. Let's go ahead then. And, oh god, ah, get you to attack the Rex. Oh, right, yeah, the Rex, the Rex is health, I forgot about, oh crap, I forgot about that. Um, what the hell is it doing? Right, I forgot I need to damage the Rex first. I got carried away. I was so eager to, to begin. Okay, there you go, look, get away. What's your health on now? I have accidentally killed my Rexes so many damn times, you guys would not believe. Actually, you probably would believe that, um, you know, knowing me. Right, just really trying hard not to hit the Trudon. Okay, you're on 3k health. Right then, and just so that I can actually see things as well, I've, oh god, got a head and getting attacked. I've set my um, <laughs> my helmet so that I can see if I'm being attacked by anything. 
Oh my god. Okay, Trudon. Stop attacking me now. Attack the attack the thing instead. I'm gonna do that instead. There you go. Pheromone dart it. Oh god. Wait, attack it, please. Oh god, hello, Parasol. Oh god. A lot of things are attacking now. Demorphodon. Um Fiomia. <laughs> Everything is attacking. But the damn Trudon. Wait! Well, I gotta say, you know, right right now, having the um <laughs> having a helmet on is really helping. What's going on outside? It's a wait, can, can you guys please just attack this is Electrodon? Look, mate. Okay, look, I'll stand next to you then. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, mate, I'll punch you. There you go. Now aggro, please. Aggro? How are you not aggroed? Like, everything else in the damn area is aggroed, but you, I'm even punching you. Ah, oh, what health is the... What do you want? Okay, I may, I may as well do a bit more damage to you then. There you go. Okay, what do you want now? 600, okay, that did nothing. Right, uh... I guess the waiting game begins, guys. I guess we have to wait. Oh, is it finally gonna do it? Are you finally gonna get the damn thing? Wait, did that not work? What the hell? Mate, mate, you actually... Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out. Mate, you actually killed it. How are you not tamed? What's your, what's your taming effectiveness? Really? 80%? A bloody 309 premium Rex wasn't enough. You absolute greedy thing. Jesus Christ. Alright, well thankfully I got a couple more. But I would much, much, much prefer doing this with a baby one. Oh god, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Jesus. Damn it! <laughs> god damn it! You see how I was saying earlier about how I keep it accidentally killing things? Oh my goodness, like, you want to have the health as low as possible to, you know, maximise the chance of it actually getting the kill, because of course the dancers will passively heal over time. And, uh, yeah, it's really easy to just to accidentally kill it, like, you, you think, right, that, that one, one more hit, one more hit, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. N no, no, it, it will not be fine. God damn, these things are annoying to tame. Alright, well, time to get another Sacrificial Rex. Oh, okay, finally. It is down and on neutral. Right, I was having a bit of an issue there, but every single time I tried to uh, tried to set the Rex on neutral, the Trudon would attack it while I'm tranking, and the Rex would turn around and bite it. So the Trudon has taken a bit of damage, but the Rex is finally down. Now I'm just hoping that, you know, this actually goes smoothly. Right, I'm going to try to be a lot more careful now when it comes to the damage taken. I think I can do one more, one more hit. Okay, 450 HP. Now, if I just stand on top of the Rex, let the Trudon keep on attacking, I should hopefully, 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 you know, actually allow it to kill it. I am going to need to help it a bit, though, because it does so little damage. No wonder with the bloody crappy damage roll it has. I think I finally have my least favourite tame. Jesus Christ, this is actually, this is just annoying. Like, I, I get it, you know, I get it. These are meant to be amazing in PvP. And they actually have their uses elsewhere as well, like um, in caving, which is what I'd like to try out if I have enough time today. <laughs> but, my god, the actual taming though. 96. Okay. 82. Trying so hard not to accidentally kill it. Level si uh, 60 left. Right. Are you gonna, you gonna come attack? There you go. Ooh, ah! Leave me alone! Okay, there. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Or, or you can just stop randomly. And I can just hover around. Okay, look. Oh, yes, finally. And I'm about to knock out. Oh, God, that was actually horrible. But it worked. It worked. You're level 261. Nice. Uh, oh, God. What's happening over there? Speedy. Speedy boy. Mate. Oh, God. Speedy boy. Come, come back. Come back. What are you doing? Jesus. Bloody Pteranodon. Okay, well... Fortunately, that is one true Don down then. Oh my god, that was actually just this, this is interesting. The taming method for this is very, very interesting. And now I know for a fact then that it really does work when they're unconscious. So whoever told me it does not work when they're unconscious, you lied. Or you're wrong. I don't know. But they work awesome. And my god, does that look that looks intimidating. You know, up close where you can actually see it without getting killed. Right then. Well their eyes are actually really cool. 
Like, I, I've always known that they glow in the dark, but I never actually got to see them this close before without dying and freaking out. Oh, even the pupils glow. That's really, that's really creepy. I like it. Right then. Now, to do it again. Great. Right then, intruder number two. Let's get you up and going. Right, I did say I'm neutral. Yeah, good, good, I did. Right then, so, 1A2 Trudon, next up. Another female though, which um, honestly, I'm not really gonna complain about. I would have liked to have had like a male and a female to breed, of course. But, uh, you know, g going by how it's all going and you know, how far I have to go to get a potential male 180. I just went for the first 180 that I could find nearby in terms of the transmitter. So, that's fine. Although her stats are, again, like a little bit crap. I can't quite see them a bit. Wait, why, why are you fleeing? Mate, come on. Attack. So what are your stats then? Yeah, you've got 34 weight, 23 melee. Uh, basically no health. It's, it's, a bit, it's a bit better than the other one, but again, not really as great. But hey, I'm not going to complain. It's a 180 after all. Right, let's carry on then. Getting you down to very, very low HP. 187 right now. Let me see. You're on 155. 136. It's a lot of fun doing this, I can tell you guys that. It's a lot of fun doing this. If I had a friend here helping me, that'd be so much better. That way, you know, they can keep an eye on a spyglass and judge, you know, when I should stop hitting, etc, etc. Okay, that should be... That's about spot on. Now, Trudon, the question is, my friend, why are you not attacking? It's night time. Your eyes are glowing. I can see that. And now I can't... Come on. Ah! There we go. Come, come, come back. Right. So yes, yeah, Trudon friend, why are you not attacking? I can see that your eyes are glowing. I can see that you're, you're angry. Why is the door open? Are you still in here? You did not just run out, did you? Okay, no, good. You're still in here, right? Good. Didn't realize the door was open. Come on, friends. Attack. Attack. Nom nom. Dinner time. You're, you're just going to flee again. Okay. This happened to the previous one as well, actually. If I just go out of render range... For a moment, all the way over here. Try again, keep on going. And then, there you go. Now if I come back, it should hopefully just like reset its aggro and start attacking again. Hopefully. Let's come all the way back, just casually punch the titans on the face. Sorry titans. Come back, come back, come back. And hopefully, it should be attacking now. Or at least, you know, able to aggro. Oi, friend. Come come fight me, bro. Come fight me. Wait, where are you? Bro. What the hell? There you are. Wait, you're just one wily Trudon, aren't you? You're just start like, getting stuck all over the place. Come on. Attack. Attack. Look, look, how are you not attacking me right now? What if I punch you? No, no, you just, you just don't want to fight. You're just like the one passive Trudon in existence, aren't you? Okay, Mr. Trudon friend, are you gonna attack me now? I ran out of render rage again. Okay, it has reset. Okay, good, it's working this time. Ah, right, and sublimant. Now, kill my Rex, eat it. I present you a wonderful gift of level 319 Rex. I've been checking the levels into weight, by the way, that way it'll hopefully give just a little bit more XP. Maybe, hopefully. Come on, mate, attack! Attack! Oh, no, no, okay, yeah, fine, just, just attack! You, you're just doing it, what health is it on now? 125. Oh man, you, you healed so much. Okay, look. I'll help you. That way you can, you know, come eat it. 78. Keep going. God, I just really hope that I don't get the last hit. You know, imagine if it attacks midway as I'm hitting. Oh, that'd be nightmarish. Okay, 61. 49. Okay, that's enough. I'm not going to hit it anymore. 37. Ah! Oh god, stimulant. Mate, you're, you're so close. Come on. One more hit. One more hit. 10 HP. Come on. And eat it. There you go. Finally. Finally. Oh, God. Ah! Help. Right. So what do you want now? You should be at like 80% again. Yes, you are. Jesus Christ. These things are so annoying. But that is time to get one more sacrificial Rex. The uh, last of the adults I've read up specifically for this. So if this one fails again, then I'm going to start hatching some babies instead. Which would probably be easier, to be honest. But what else am I going to do with these Rexes? I need to get rid of them somehow. I may as well sacrifice them to a Trudon. Okay, there we go. And another one is down. 
Right, let's go ahead then set you on passive. That way you don't go... Oh! D -d Damn it! Okay, look, there you go. Jesus Christ. Just as I was in the process of... Okay, then. And hopefully the Rex is still on neutral as well. Uh, let me see. Ah! Yes, good. Right, now to help the Trudon deal damage to it. Without killing it, preferably. Okay, you're on 520 HP. And now we punch it for ages. What the hell? Parasol? Oh, okay. <laughs> Randomly a parasol just joins in. Alright, fine. Ah! Okay, that startled me. Uh, right, 117. Really close now. And you're doing damage to the parasol now. Okay, that's cool. You you do you, mate. Go, go and hit that parasol if it makes you feel any better. Right, you're on 50. 50 HP, 31. Okay, that should be enough. That should be more than enough. Right, true it on. Attack. Attack me. Uh, parasol, mate. No one get parasol. Ah, true it on. Okay. Should be so close to finish, like any moment now, it should finally be done. The horrible taming after the Trudons. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. That was. Okay, look, look, Parasol, you're being really obnoxious right now. Would it suck if I accidentally just killed my Trudon right now? Oh, goddamn. That was, um. That was definitely. That was definitely something, wasn't it, guys? What are your stats like? Not terrible. I mean. You know, if, if the baby gets the health and the melee of the two different parents, then that'll be, you know, quite, quite useful. But, eh. But I'm not doing it again. No, there's no way I'm doing that again. Right then. Time to breed them. Right then. And let the mutating commence. And... I have no idea what that sound was for, but, uh, you know, immersion. So... Got the two trudels mating now. I have gone ahead and changed the gender of the um, the higher level female into the male. Uh, no particular reason why I chose that one, just because it was the one that was already in the taming pen and I had to do it away from every other animal because I don't want to just change the gender of all my animals all of a sudden. As I think the change is permanent actually, since, you know, while we're waiting for the breeding anyway. Let me quickly check. Uh, change mode. Uh, Swap the genders. Um, They'll be immune to further gender changes for six hours. And, and it will not work on any dino with a mating cooldown or has been granted a random gender by the mutator. So basically, it seems to be a permanent change. Now then, all the breeding has been done. The dancers are no longer quite uh, as irritated anymore. And now let's get our four Trudon eggs. And I've got a bunch of Therizinos. Do I... Wait, what? Do I still have Therizinos breeding? Um... No. <laughs> Where did that come from? Maybe it was there from before. Okay, that must have just been there from before. Okay, never mind, never mind. Let us stand again. Our oh, amazing, guaranteed mutated Trudons. I wonder what we get. So first of all, we've got a 2-4... Oh, ah, God, you're, you're fast. Oh, look at it. It's got a little red underbelly. Oh, wait, wrong angle. It's so tiny. Oh, wait, that looks evil. Okay, that's really cool. And uh, don't don't mind the clock in the background. Guys, don't, don't pay attention to the clock. Uh, right, so let's get another one then. We have another singular one here with a purple underbelly. More like a lilac-y, lilac excuse me, kind of underbelly. I right, got two males as well. So we got a 246 and a 266. All right, 246? Wow, that's, that's awful. You inherited like no traits, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Not, not like it really matters that much. Right, egg number three. We've got a 288. That's more like it. With a green underbelly? I think, question mark. Not quite sure there. And finally, the fourth one, which is yellow. <laughs> wow. Now that's the kind of thing I was expecting there, like really large, vibrant colour schemes. I'm a, I, I am, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed that the others didn't get that. Wait, they're, they're all male. All four of them are male. What? H how can I have a Trudon pack if none of them are even, you know, uh, female? Like, none of them are mate boosted. Come on, come on, game. All right. I think I may have to go ahead and uh, get a couple more eggs in because I, I, I kind of want the rainbow army. Sure, it's, it's not required, but okay, come on, I, I need mate boost. They gotta be mate boosted. I'm really happy with that one though. The, the brighter red one. Look at that man. That's so cool. Right then, fine, fine game. Let's go get the trunes out of the vivarium and let's try again. And guys, I just want to say happy little reminder here. 
Vivariums really are just the absolute best dino storage. I mean, just, just look at this. It's, it's so good. Doesn't matter what they are. Tech Rex, Onyx, Compi, Beaver. Like, it, it just doesn't matter. They just... Oh my god, and that as well. Yes. <laughs> that as well. They produce an insane amount of eggs. But yeah, like, really, really big pro tip here. If, if you're having, you know, storage issues, get Vivariums. They're so damn good. Right, let's get our Trudons out. And let's just, you know, just, just one or two more eggs. That, that's it, you know. Not much, not much. Just get a couple more. Three more eggs to go. What do we get here? It would have been four more eggs, but uh, one of them kind of hatched twins, you know, the very moment it dropped or was laid, or laid even. So, didn't exactly have a chance to incubate it. But, hey-ho. So, that's the, uh, technically, you know, egg number four right there. So, let me see. Egg number one. We have a level 270... 270 black one. Interesting. Okay. We've got that one. Another male. God damn. Getting a lot of males today, aren't we? I've got a <laughs> another red one. Very nice, which is level 278. Not bad, not bad. Oh god, okay, I'm a bit tall there. Can't even Ah! Changes wandering. There you go. And then we have egg number three, which is again twins. 299. God damn. Uh, no, mate, mate, no, come back, come back, little one. Oh god, they're so tiny. Okay, there we go. 299, what are you? You are another another um, blackish greyish one. I'm a little bit disappointed with the colour schemes, I have to say. I'm guessing Trudons must only have a very small amount of regions, like two, maybe three regions. That's what it feels like anyway. They also to be changing colours, like only either the top, like the top main section, or the uh, bottom section. It seems to be it. Which, you know, I get. Well, actually, no. That one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right, that seems to be the case. So about two, three regions. So I guess a lot of the mutations are just going to the empty regions, which is a bit of a disappointment. But it's fine, though. It's fine. After all, I mean, I'm, I'm using a for one day, really. I probably won't use this very often in the future. I just wanted to see what we can get. So I went and checked out just how long I've been recording for, and I think it's safe to say that just, just for this one episode, we should probably end it here, wrap it up. And to be fair, though, I have been thinking about these Trudons, and I think what would be really quite interesting, maybe I won't do it, I don't know just yet. I do want to take them to a cave, I think these have a lot of caving potential as a group, as a squad. But um, what I was thinking, what I, what I could maybe do, just, just, just maybe, right, is have a really cool looking one. Okay, have a really cool, heavily mutated looking one. The stats, yeah. But appearance-wise, have a really, really awesome. Sacrifice loads of Rexes to it, like I've been doing anyway today. And just, you know, get it to XP level that way. And then maybe we can finally use a cloning chamber and get ourselves a squad of four really awesome looking clones. It's a bit over the top, but hey, why the hell not? I've already done the Rainbow Raptor army, we've had the Dillo army. Maybe we can have a bit of fun with a Trudon squad. And let's face it, guys, like, look, at, look, at those, uh, look at those two mutations there, like the two red ones and the yellow one. Look how vibrant they are. I don't know about you guys, but I just, I just really want to see, like, the horrifying creature of the night as a rainbow. <laughs> I just really want to see this. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here then. As always, thank you so much for watching, and, oh god, have a wonderful day. And, as always, I will see you all next time. Take care of yourselves.